All right, so what is good, everybody on YouTube? This is, of course, your boy B Bullet RC coming at you guys again with yet the video. And today we're going to be doing a review on the Geode Yeezy 700. Now, I did want to have this one up a little bit early. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the shoe as early as possible. But if there are still sizes available, hopefully this helps people out if they want to go out and grab a pair or make the decision that they don't want to go out and grab a pair. Now, of course, you guys already see the box is right there in the back. So just give me one second. We're going to be right back. Blam! And here it is, as you guys can see, the same old, same old Yeezy 700 Boost box. Now, the label on this one does read Yeezy 700 boost or Yeezy Boost 700 V2 geode 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 yes this is the geode colorway obviously of the 700 and um, while I'm pulling these shoes out I'm gonna keep it all the way a buck with you guys um, before having this shoe before seeing it in person I knew I wanted to do a review on it just to kind of check out this colorway I wasn't really feeling them that much from what I had been seeing um, and getting the shoe in hand and putting them on feet really really changed my mind on this particular release and, and like I said I'm gonna keep it a buck I was honestly gonna get these review them and then let them go on the bodega for retail just because I, I just didn't think I was gonna want to hold on to this sneaker um, you know brown shoes are kind of one of those things where it's like eh, do I really want a brown sneaker how much you're gonna wear it I got my 750 chocolates up there and I don't really wear that sneaker a lot but once I put the shoe on once I seen the shape once I seen the colorway um, it's honestly not that hard of a shoe to rock and I was honestly pretty surprised but we'll get more into that in a little bit let's go ahead and get into the actual sneaker right here so the Yeezy 700 v2 and um, I'm just gonna start off with sizing because I think they did a great job kind of fixing the sizing problem um, with Yeezys you guys know 350s um, 350 v2s all these different Yeezys they have like this weird sizing thing where sometimes they run tight sometimes they run true and I'm just glad that for the 700 v2 two at least i can say that if you want this sneaker you can go true to size even me with a more I guess you say wider flatter foot the size 12 is perfect and my size 12 and the mobs the wave runners any regular 700 um i think they fit tight and i would always recommend to go a size up but the geode 700s have landed what do i think well first off let's get into what the shoe looks like up first we have the sole now the sole is a mixture of a really deep kind of charcoal gray you have that gum on the outsole which i actually do like i, I love my gum outsoles and at first this kind of gave me like a reese's peanut butter cup kind of vibe with the brown kind of color on the bottom and then the gum as well you still have the boost peeking through the outsole i always like that detail moving up to the midsole you still have that all over solid gray and I was actually really surprised to see this because I don't know why I never noticed it in any pictures but there's actually a navy blue hit right here you know on the wave runners I think it's orange um, on the inertia it's orange and right here I thought this was like an all over gray sole but there's actually a navy blue hit right inside of these two circles on the back to give it a little bit of a color pop and I actually um, you know it's not the most standout thing on the shoe but I actually like that little bit of navy blue on it it kind of like lets you know that navy blue does look good with this shoe when people see this when it's brown and, and gray and gum like i said before it, it looks like a shoe that's really hard to wear um just like the mobs to me was kind of like okay what am i gonna wear with this just all over black or gray um but i mean navy blue the tans with the gum on the bottom you know once again they're just not that hard to actually put into a few different good outfits now on the upper as per usual man i know that this shoe does retail at 300 and a lot of people kind of have gripes with that still but at this point bro with different things and how i look at stuff right now it's like either you're going to pay the money or you're going to complain <laughs> that's kind of how it is with anything and, and for me whenever i get a yeezy 700 in i really don't feel like i'm getting gypped at all just because of materials and usually the makeup of the shoe is just a one and that is still here currently on this shoe right here so on the toe box you do get your bit of gray hit on there and that suede or that new buck whatever it is is super nice super premium on the toe box it actually has like you know when you wipe your finger over it it does actually change colors towards the side in the medial part of the shoe you do have that leather that super super nice leather right here on the bottom i love that detail on the original 700 v2s and you have more of that really premium new buck or suede up here near the toe leading to more of that really heavy mesh um, I'm, I'm assuming is a super heavy 
priming it mesh really gives me the mind of a Yeezy 350 V2 um, that runs all underneath the shoe all around. Now there still are 3M hits on this sneaker as always. You have the 3M hit near the toe, the 3M at the bottom of the laces, the three stripes on the side, and these bits of 3M hits at the back, which give it a little bit of a pop, you know, if the flash or if the light hits them just right. And another detail that I kind of didn't know was up here as well is that the laces actually do come with a 3M on the inside. Um, it is like a gray, looks like a gray lace to match with kind of like some of the gray pieces are charcoal, gray pieces of the upper. And once again, there is 3M inside the laces, even give you another bit of a pop on the shoe. Towards the inside and the guts of the sneaker, you have that same kind of mesh. Now, another detail that some people may not know is that if you guys remember when they did the newer versions of the 700s, um, they included those little rubber bands to keep the tongue from sliding left to right. That was one of my gripes with the original 700 Wave Runner is that when you wear them, the tongue would just slowly, slowly, but surely just kind of slide off to the right. And I didn't like that look. With this shoe, they've actually just gone ahead and stitched in the tongue to the size of the sneakers, I guess, to kind of keep that shape. And another thing with these that really helps them is the shape of the sneaker. I don't know, I, the pointy look, that kind of weird triangle look, even on my feet, looks so good in my opinion. I think that's one of the biggest strengths with this sneaker, as well as something like the Fear of God Air Jordan 1, or Fear of God, Air Fear of God 1, sorry. That shape, that look, is exactly what you want um, in a shoe, and it just fits and looks and just sits on the foot just the right way. So these look good from the front, especially they look good from the side. Um, it just depends on what pants you're wearing them with. And, and luckily this shoe, I mean, you can wear it with jeans, you can wear it with sweats, um, shorts, you can do it as well. And I, I just think that it's overall one of those shoes that, you know, a lot of people love or hate. Um, but when it comes down to it, shape, materials, um, colorways, even colorways like this one that honestly I really wasn't fucking with, once I got them in hand, once I put them on my toe, once I got them in the video and, and kind of reviewed some of the on-foot footage, um, I'm, I'm gonna keep this pair, man, and that surprised me. So look, man, that is it. That is my full review for the Yeezy 700 V2 Geode colorway. Um, honestly, before I got them in hand, I thought it was one of the more weaker colorways, but having them in hand, on the foot, on the toe, looking at the on-feet footage, it's not a bad sneaker, and with how people are kind of treating this colorway, hopefully you'll be able to get it to as close to retail as possible. So listen, man, that's it. Much love to all the fam, followers, and of course supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Snapchat. The Snapchat is bull.cb, by the way. Here, there, blah, blah, blah. Of course, I got them right here. So, bull.rc, and I'ma see y'all on that next video. Hopefully you enjoy. Y'all let me know, are y'all copping these? Are you saving your money? Are they trash? Are they ass? Or are you really digging it? In the end, it was a colorway I was not excited for. Once I got them in hand, I actually dig them. Y'all enjoyed it on feet. Peace. Virgil to try to get easy. He working on the album, so it ain't gonna be easy. Now it's back to me, nigga. I took my click, turned it to faculty, nigga. Took my operation to factory, nigga. When I'm in the zone, they won't tackle me, nigga. I touch down in the city. A fucking walking target. Still, man, all my bitches miss me. Yeah, they miss me, but not misses. If you ask me what's my interest, all my interests involve interest. Got a lawyer and a paralegal. Free little bump. Too cliche if I said fuck Trump. Try one of mine, better nigga get jumped. Came from the bottom, I came from a swamp. We alligator shoes off the avenue. Making money, day and night and afternoon. Went from making music, trying to balance school. People call me Google, yet I made it cool. What the fuck can you say? About a nigga, there's a curry main. Bitch, I got it from the dirty main. And I did it under 30 main. Damn, and my girl just caught a nigga. Rolled up on the now, she ain't even call a nigga. Seeing shorty through my door and got in all her feelings. Going crazy, hope she don't get your boy evicted. Shit, and I ain't even calling niggas. It's been a long time since I even talked to niggas. Couple childhood friends turned to awkward niggas.
Egg time, well that's the rapture Didn't go to class for a second I swear I would've failed everything My passport was the only thing I'm passing Flying overseas, turning dreams into habits Turning coast to first classes Mom, I'm never moving back And I put six years in the flow Okay, no wonder it got mastered The flow need a damn Why it's doing too much damage in the grass, but I couldn't grab them. Focus on the Eve, now nah, focus on the green and the trees with binoculars looking for an atom. Let me tell you, I got dreams to sell you. Cause y'all reek backwards and some future failures. We was working deals, I finalizing hurdles. Y'all was out in Paris, dick riding Virgil. Hope to miss the photos, keep you cool and coach. Clout, yeah, or you out here, or you network, or your self work, nigga, dick ride to your neck hurt. Cause when you get Benjamins, they come in all the villains. More money, more problems, this shit is real life. The game is WCW, real trife. Dumb broker with a good girl who had my back. Now it's gonna be hard to find a real wife. Time to deal with the snakes and all the fake loving. God damn, it's good to get it. Even better with your niggas. Good. Call up my dog who been in and out depression. Said, boy, how you living? Don't lie to me about your feelings. On the outside, you look fine. Nigga, we okay, boy, better know BBK You a ward and I'm G.I. Joe You get cooked, nigga, BBQ I dip load and go M.I.A. and skate off like a T.I. roll Niggas put them in the car The bitch gon' start with the click I ain't fucking the stocks The bitch got to start with the click